And it's obviously too late for uh, caffeine. Lately, I've been drinking a lot of decaf. So coffee is one of my passions. Uh, I feel like I haven't really talked much on this channel about it. Ever since I moved to Australia, I started to really get into coffee. Six years ago, seven, six, seven years ago. And yeah, ever since uh, I created Instagram account just for basically document what I was learning and trying and I don't know, just really document the journey. Anyways, now I'm back in Spain. Um, gonna make a specialty uh, decaf. Yeah, so also um, because I never really had like a stable place in, in Australia. So I was always a bit hesitant to really invest into coffee gear, but now that I'm in Spain and I have my place, uh, it feels nice to be able to, you know, make buy some things that you wanted for a while and you couldn't really have before because I was always on the move. Even this like table, I use it mostly for, for coffee. And it's really nice to have your own space. Um, you can just use and relax. Yeah, I guess as part of this, uh, this vlog or this new set of vlogs, I'm gonna try to show you a bit more of uh, this side of uh, my life because uh, yeah, coffee is a big part of it. And even recently here in Spain, I'm just being connected to the uh, local community here in Valencia. So I actually attended my first event uh, last month. Um, yeah, I've been pretty much going to all specialty cafes that I can uh, find and connecting with baristas, uh, roasters, and basically a lot of people in the in the industry. Specialty coffee wasn't really a thing a uh, few years ago in Valencia and now it's like actually popping. Like there are many many like uh, specialty cafes. Um, it's not yet to the point that it's uh, saturated so I think there's still a bit of opportunity but uh, yeah we're almost there. It's like uh, 11 p.m. now, and I was just reviewing some code. Um, I don't know, I feel like even with the coffee, even though it doesn't have caffeine, it still somehow makes me some kind of uh, productive. I like to work also now, which is quite late, and pretty much all my workmates are sleeping, but I guess it's very relaxing to work at this time. Um, it's a completely different vibe and energy than working in the morning, where you know, a lot of things might be happening. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. This is, uh, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but this is a bunch of yogurt, kefir, 
um, blueberries, almonds, and uh, honey. But yeah, normally before training, I like to eat something uh, light. The last time I had food was like four hours ago. So now I'm gonna have this, some sort of a pre-workout, you can call it. Uh, it's very light. I bought this recently, it's like electrolytes. As, yeah, I don't know if it works, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna show you my front lever workout. I feel like lately I've just been posting a lot of the highlights, but I think it's just important for me to show you my routine, right? My, my front lever routine end to end, starting with attempts. Probably you're gonna be doing like three to five sets, depending on how I feel, and then it's gonna be pure on routine on easier progressions and maybe some bands uh, at the end. <laughs> I think I record most of the training sets, probably only left like two or three because it was the same variation. Um, but I only have one last set left. It's like already like two hours training. Um, normally I don't take as long, but actually tomorrow I'm going I'm going away for a week and I don't think I'm gonna be really having access to um, equipment to train from lever so yeah today i just try to go a bit longer really really push it in with the basics um and even do like an extra volume because i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to train from lever for the next week um so yeah i'm just gonna do one last set of uh, tack pulls um lately when i'm like at this point of the of the routine i'm just trying to you know fully regress at as much volume as I can. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to reach uh, 10 tag pulls um, at this point. Like, don't really care much about the, the form meter, just really, really trying to build volume. In terms of my front lever um, approach lately, uh, what I really want to do is really increase my number of pull-ups. That's really my number one uh, goal. I'm not even too focused or worried about touch. Um, I think it's really important to build that uh, just raw pulling strength. So I'm not worried about I'm not worried about touch or any like wider grip or pull to touch, none of those variations. I really wanna just get five pulls. That's my goal for the end of the year. At the moment, I'm a bit of stuck in like two pulls. So I'm really pushing for three, trying to really get to three pulls. Uh, so when you think about it, it's like, I need to like double my strength by the end of the year, right? So yeah, I still don't really know what's like the best way if you know really just spam uh, attempts like even uh, three pull-ups attempts use more bands thinner bands or use easier progressions more volume um, 
I don't know, I feel like there are so many ways uh, you can achieve the same goal. Um, for me personally, I feel like bands is not really the answer. Um, uh, so I'm just really prioritizing uh, non-band work before. Even if I have to regress to like half lay or advanced tag or even tag. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to follow this approach for maybe like one, two more months. And hopefully at that point, I hope I can still, like I can already do like three bulls and I will be already trying uh, four. So yeah, I think at this point um, I'm fine with breaking the form, especially when I try three pull-ups. And I think eventually that should give me clean uh, four and the same for five. So that is my current uh, approach. But I think again, it's really subjective to that lead. Um, I think for instance, in my case, uh, because I have a long legs, um, I feel like uh, for me to bridge the gap between advanced stack to half lay or from half lay to full, uh, there's a big, bigger gap than usual. Um, so that's why I tend to spend longer time on those progressions. Um, but yeah, again, everyone is different, so that's what I'm doing. Hope it makes sense. Peace.